Okay, so in this Gravity Forms tutorial, we're going to look at how to style the description of your form. So I have a new Gravity Form here. It's got a form ID of number four, and I just have a single line text field in here just for visual purposes, but we're not going to style this. So if we go into the form settings, see the form has a title of styling Gravity Forms, and we've got a form description of this form is created for styling purposes and it's this text here that we're going to target now and see if we can format it. So I've embedded this gravity form into a new post and I've said show the form title and description. So we'll have a look at this post and you can see we have the gravity form here. So you have the title we have the description, so this is the area we're going to target now. And then we have the input field here, then the submit button. And the styling of this so far doesn't look very good at all. And it's taken some styling aspects from Gravity Forms itself and also some styling aspects from the theme we're using here. But we're not going to target the rest of it. We're just going to look at this specific area of the form. So what we do is you have to go into the dashboard of your WordPress site and then go to appearance and then editor. And then we want the CSS style sheet. Just go right down to the bottom and then we'll put in some custom code here. So what we want to do is we want to write body hash g form underscore wrapper. And if you wanted to apply the same styling to every single form on our site and every new form we do on our site, we just leave it as wrapper, but we want to target an individual specific form that has the ID of number four. So underscore four targets a particular form. So obviously the ID of your form will probably be different. And then we put we go dot G form underscore heading space, then dot G form underscore description target the description area of this gravity form. We do open and close curly brackets and then we can put our CSS down in here. So first thing we'll do is we'll increase the font size. So we just go font size colon and we'll say 30 pixels. Let's update this. And then we'll refresh our page, our post. You see this text here in the description is increased to 30 pixels. Okay, we'll do a little bit more styling just to change. So we'll, we'll make it italic this time. So we we'll go font style. Then we'll say italic. Update the file again. There are writing has gone italic. Okay, so there you go. That's just a quick tutorial showing you how to target the description area of a gravity form. Make sure you subscribe to my YouTube channel so you get updates as soon as I've got new videos ready for you. And also head over to my website, which is www.neilcurtis.me, where I have lots more guides and tutorials about gravity forms and WordPress and other web design things.